Making a Picture Frame Video 1 Before you begin, you should have completed all of the safety tests and participated in all the teacher-led demonstrations. Do you know how to use the miter saw and have you used it with the instructor? Remember, we use this tool to cross-cut pieces of material. Can you go to the service planner, set up the machine, and make two flat faces and a uniform thickness? And do you know how to make a straight 90 degree edge on the joiner? Because you cannot begin until you've been checked off with all the safety tests and the instructor has seen you use all these machines. So if it's time to begin, the first thing you're going to do is go copy the rough cut list down that is posted in the shop. And then you're going to get material from the instructor, laying out with chalk your long sides and your short sides, making sure that you have enough material for all four sides of your picture frame. Once you've completed that, it's time to get checked off on the table saw. That's completing the test and more importantly seeing the demonstration and using the tool with the instructor. You're going to cut multiple times with the instructor to show that you can use this tool safely. You're not allowed to use it until you've been cleared and checked off. At this point your picture frame pieces should be roughly milled to width and length because now you're going to go to the router table with the instructor and with a half inch straight bit installed in the router table you're going to begin by cutting a groove in both of your pieces. The instructor will set up the machine and model how to complete this safely. You're basically using two push pads and pressing your pieces against the fence the entire time. Cutting our groove is step one. Step two is going to be completed by changing the router table's fence and the height of the bit, which the instructor will do for you. After the setup is changed, the techniques are the same. Two push pads cutting now a rabbit in both pieces. The step rabbit is used to hold the glass, the matting, your picture, and the backing that's going to hold it all together. Now that we're done with the router table, it's time to go back to the table saw. You're going to take your step rabbit and place it against the fence and rip your pieces to exact width. Once this is done, it's time to begin and cut our miter joints. The instructor is going to show you how to do this but you're going to begin by getting a 5x7 plywood template that's hanging in the shop. We have a number of different ways to cut miter joints in our shop. The most common way and the way that you're probably most familiar with is by using the miter saw, angling the motor and cutting a 45 degree angle in the end of your pieces. But we also have a shop made sled that we put on the table saw and we'll model how to do this safely. But the techniques are basically the same. You're holding your material against a fence and you're going to be pushing the sled just far enough to cut a 45 degree angle in the end of your pieces. Again, the instructor will model how to do both of these techniques safely and more importantly how to cut your pieces to exact length. This concludes video one. Let's get in the shop and let's get back to building.